how to play fast A comps, how to play reward comps, why does your favorite TFT streamer seem to always be super rich in the game, how to reach level 8 and level 9 constantly, and what is my bank account number? What? Who wrote this script? Anyways, in this video I'm going to give you complete strategies you can apply step by step in your own games and actually let's start right away with some general tips you need to understand before being able to apply these strategies. In order to win the late game in TFT, you will need to optimize your flow of income from the very first round and the most efficient way to generate more gold than your opponents are from interest up to 5 gold per turn and win streaks or loss streaks up to 3 gold per turn. Everyone gets 5 gold per turn and your goal is to have at least 5 more bonus gold per turn. If you manage to do that with streaking and with interest, then you will generate on average 110 more gold than your opponents who stayed with only 5 gold per turn. This is not financial advice, do your own research. I wonder where this is coming from. The fast A strategy is the most common used strategy in TFT, but you have to be sure you're not mixing it up with fast A strategy that Soju is really really good at it. Why does it do no damage? What's going on? Ah, this guy's kind of free. Oh, what the God. fuck is this? Later, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what? And then it has like some stupid ass <laughs> fucking animation you can't even skip. The fastest strategy allows you to efficiently manage your economy and reach level 8 with a good amount of gold in order to buy expensive 4 cost, 5 cost, 8 cost and 10 cost units. So take a pen and a book because I'm going to tell you step by step how you can apply this leveling strategy at every game. During stage 1 you will try to buy units in pairs so you can make 2 star units. There are some units you would prefer than others depending on your items but that will be the topic of my early game guide I will release very soon. Depending on your starter you can already tell if you have a strong board or not. If you have a strong board, you will try to create a win streak and that is why you will push aggressively during stage 2. It means that you will push level 4 at stage 2-1 and push level 5 at stage 2-5. With this plan, you will ideally get a 5 win streak while being level 5 and having at least 20 gold before fighting the crux. However, after the stage 1, you realize that you have a weak board, you will rather try to play it slowly and you will lose the following fights on purpose in order to create a 5 loss streak. That is why you will not invest your gold into XP and rather you should try to reach bigger interests than your opponents. If you manage to do it correctly, you should be level 4 with at least 40 gold before fighting the Krugs. Obviously, if you have an economy augment like TFT capitalist, uh, I mean rich gets richer, then you should have much more gold than the numbers I just gave earlier. No matter which direction you pick, you should push level 6 at stage 3-2. The only difference is that if you had already a lost trick earlier, then probably you will need to roll a bit of gold in order to strengthen your board by having 2 star units or better synergies in order to stop losing. Because obviously if you match way too much health in early game, and there is no point in doing this. Once you have stabilized your board, it means that your board is strong enough to at least win a few fights for the next rounds, you will try to get 50 gold as fast as possible in order to get at least 10 gold per turn in total. At stage 4 one, you will push level 7 and roll a bit to find upgrades in order to stabilize your board just like you did at level 6. Try however to avoid being lower than 30 gold if it's possible because you will need to get back to 50 gold very fast and prepare your level 8 for stage 5. At stage 5 one you will push level 8 and use all your gold in order to find the 4 cost and 5 cost units you need to complete your board. Obviously you can decide to change this leveling strategy if you want to adapt to your game but if you are a beginner then it's better you learn this first before changing pattern. If you prefer to have a bunch of 3 star units on your board, then you will have to apply the reward leveling strategy. As you may know already, your little legend level will set the odds of finding the units in your shop. And the lower your level is, the easier is it to get a 1 cost or 2 cost unit. The idea of the reward strategy is to stay low level until you find exactly what you want. For this specific reason, you will never buy any XP for the whole stage 1 and stage 2, and you will try to achieve a full loss streak strategy. Just like I said earlier, the full loss streak strategy means that you will lose on purpose in order to have even more gold than your opponents. Ideally, you also choose an augment that gives you more gold at stage 2-1, so you can easily have 50 plus gold at stage 2-7 
just before fighting the Krugs. From here, you have different choices depending on the comp you want to play. If you want to play reward comp around one cost units like Israel or Karma, then you want to roll at level 4 to have high chances to find a lot of one cost units. So at stage 3 1, just before you reach natural level 5, you should roll 30 gold, no more. After this, if you still haven't found the 3 star one cost units you wanted, then get back to 50 gold as fast as you can and start to slow rolling every turn. It means that you will never get back under 50 gold and use all the additional gold to roll 2 or 3 times per turn. If you want to play a reward comp around 2 cost units like Swain or Twitch, then you will push level 6 at stage 3-2 and roll 20 to 30 gold in order to find 2 star units and stabilize your board. Then, from this point, you will try to get back to 50 gold or more before slowing your 2 cost unit. The second you hit your 3 star units, you gain a big power spike, and you can use it to your advantage to create a long win streak. Use that additional gold to push your level in order to finish your comp with powerful late game units. Great, now you know exactly how to manage your economy and your levels based on the strategy you want to apply in your game. But now you might be asking how to know exactly what is the perfect early game conditions to apply one of these strategies. If that's the case, I highly suggest you to watch this video about the early game. And if it's not appearing now, then subscribe to this channel because it's going to be recorded and released very soon.